Also, Barbara Dell is across town. Hey, good morning, Chilar. We're here at the Lindsay Wildlife Museum, also in Walnut Creek, where we found out we're not the only ones who get up at this insane, ungodly hour. More coming up. Hey, we also want to check in with our very own Bob Riddell. He is in Walnut Creek as well to show us this really unique living museum. Please explain it, Bob. Yeah, good morning, Chilo. We're here at the Lindsay Wildlife Museum, and you're safe living. There are a lot of creatures here living. Fortunately, that guy right up there has been uh, frozen in time. Otherwise, he looks like he'd be coming down from his perch to uh, maybe uh, get a little meat from a nice uh, little reporter here. But we're here to talk about these. It is rattler season. It's at least starting to start up on Mount Diablo, which of course is one of the, the main features of, of Walnut Creek because as the heat, uh, you know, as things get warmer, so those snakes do come out here. We got Devin Dombrowski with uh, the Lindsay Wildlife Museum. That of course might look like a rattler, right? If you were just to, to glance at it, but if you look at its tail, if you can see it right there by, there it is peeking out, it clearly isn't because it doesn't have the rattler, but uh, this is a mistake, uh, excuse me, a, a snake that is commonly mistaken for a rattler, is that correct? Absolutely, so this is a Pacific gopher snake, which commonly are mistaken as rattlesnakes, as you said. Mm -hmm. uh, for somebody just walking by, all they'll see is a brown snake and assume that's a rattlesnake. Of course, this is the real uh, McCoy right in there. You can tell just by the shape of the head, it's got more of an, I guess, a pointed arrow look where this is more of a, a slender uh, look. Common misperception uh, about rattlers uh, for people who encounter them in the wild. What is it, Devin? Well, common misperceptions, of course, are that um, it's immediately gonna strike at you. Um, of course, if you come across a rattlesnake, you wanna keep your distance from it, but um, chances are it'll just stand there and be aggressive and let you know that it doesn't want you around. Best thing you can do is just step back and make sure you keep your distance and enjoy it. Okay, and so you don't wanna necessarily, I mean, you might, the instinct might be to run just because you, you see right. it, but it's okay if you take your, your space and... Yeah, of course, okay. you wanna make sure that you give them their space. Um, you know, six or 10 feet is plenty for them. And Laura, what's interesting the and perhaps sad is that the Lindsay Wildlife Museum has a hospital here where they take in 6,000 animals a year. That's quite a, a lot. You do see rattlers, and unfortunately when they come in, uh, people have already killed them, they've chopped off their head. What would you say to those people who are doing this? Well, first, for the rattlesnakes that come in, regardless of they're alive or not, we always educate the public. Um, and unfortunately, if the rattlesnakes are killed, then that creates another problem in that the, the territory that that snake was occupying is now open. Like, let's say it was your backyard. Exactly, and now other rattlesnakes are going to come in and compete for that territory, and they're going to be more aggressive than the one that was originally there. Okay, very interesting. I didn't know that. Devin, thank you very much. If you want more information on the Lindsay Wildlife Museum, you can go to wildlife-museum.org. Uh, not far from here, one of the largest choo-choo sets in the Bay Area. We'll be showing that to you coming up. Okay, that one sounds pretty. That one sounds pretty safe. The uh, choo choos, but I'm glad you got the reptile exhibit this morning, and I'm safe right here in Broadway Plaza in Walnut Creek. Thanks so much, Bob. And I'm Bob Riddell, standing in front of uh, some of the fiercest creatures known to mankind here in Walnut Creek. Coming up, one of man's favorite hobbies. We're talking about the largest, littlest choo choo set here in the Bay Area. One of them coming up in the live report. You can get more information by going to their website, wcmrs.org. And Larky Park, of course, is located right next to where we're at right now, which is the Lindsay Wildlife Museum. You know they get 6,000 animals in here uh, each year that are brought in by people who live in the, in the East Bay, or actually from all over the place, to come here to be treated like this little guy right here. There he is, that's a gray fox. who actually came all the way up from Humboldt, Humboldt County uh, down to here. Uh, and he's unfortunately not gonna be able to be released back in the wild, but fortunately he does have a permanent uh, place here in the Lindsay Wildlife Museum where you can see, if you saw him earlier, he's running around a lot, he's doing uh, very well. They take even in squirrels, there's a squirrel Right here, you can see the sign, my nest. He's in this bundle of newspaper right there, fast asleep, and lots of birds, lots of owls. Here's a barn owl. I don't know if you can see him up there. It looks like he's asleep, uh, but he's been in here since uh, 2004. He was actually found in Davis with a broken left wing. Here's a great horned owl. Hey, guy. He's obviously wide awake. Found not too far from here in Castro Valley. Been here since 1999. Incidentally, the same weekend of the model train show, the Wildlife Museum is having free admission, so it's kind of something you can feed off. If you want to go to the, wild, the model train show and come here for free, you can do that both on the same day. For more information on the Lindsay Wildlife Museum, you can go to wildlife-museum.org for more information. Laura.
Look at that, bringing us some samples of some great things in the Bay Area a lot of people uh, may not have known about. Thanks so much, Bob. That was a lot of fun.